Alrighty, everybody, so I wanted to give a little update on the uh, progress of everything right now. So, I had a lot of fun with my father when he was here, and we ended up uh, getting a lot done. So, and I did, wasn't able to film because my father likes to run, 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 which is a good thing when you have seven motorcycles. So, let's update you. Alrighty, so the 750 here, all torn apart, partially. So this thing was just about ready to start. Um, unfortunately, while we were starting it, or trying to start, the starter actually blew. So I had to get a replacement for the starter and put that in here right now. So if you look on here, you can see the tooth broke off here on the uh, starter. And it also broke off there on the uh, starter gear. So I had to get them ordered. We basically had this thing running, it was running. Uh, essentially, we didn't have enough power to get this thing going and keep it and, and really give it enough. So I know this will run, which is a really positive thing. RD, this one does run. Absolutely. Put fuel to it after cleaning the points up and this thing runs. So more to come with this bike. I'm not going to show it now. I'm not going to show it running. So I want to have a little bit of suspense because this is the bike that, uh, that I... I was really excited about especially those other two in the back but particularly this one so it's going to be great to show this off and then get it running so follow up sub up man we got to keep working keep moving let's go righty so got the starter all put back in everything on i got all the case side on and everything and i hit the starter and all you hear is a whining sound so i figured out what was going on with this um so the starter gear i had to put in here I had to put the starter in sorry about that I'll get that out of the way so again starter gear put in here starters over here well i um started hit the key and nothing would happen it wouldn't actually move it wouldn't uh, spin the pistons so what i found actually after further examination is this nut was actually loose when i uh when I took it, uh, or when I was touching it, which that's not supposed to be the case. And what I found was, if I can show you guys, a Woodruff key. And this Woodruff key, if you can see, there's two pieces to it. There is a missing Woodruff key. It's a broken off Woodruff key. That's what causing, what's causing my issues. So I gotta get a new um, replacement Woodruff key so that it'll actually spin the uh, spin the motor over and we should have a working starter. Well everybody, we uh, did a little bit of work last night so we're going to, I'm just gonna show you what I did. So I got everything back together, spark plugs on, carburetors back on, and I got this sweet drop tank in here just for avoiding the nasty fuel tank. So in theory, we should be able to see if this thing is ready to start. So let's do that. Now that this bike is running, I have a lot more faith in putting a little bit more time and effort into uh, the bike. I did notice one thing, which were the clutches are stuck on it, so it's probably going to need some new clutch plates, uh, which is pretty easy to do. Not a big deal. Um, kind of figure with some of these old things, things aren't going to work right anyway. So you know the drill. Next thing that we're doing here, pouring in all the vinegar. So I got to run and get a little bit more. I already poured two gallons in there, so boom. Then. It's on to cleaning the bike up and doing a few little touches as well as fixing the clutches, etc. And then once that's all kind of working, this bike is uh, going to be hitting the road. A little bit of white vinegar. Per plunk. You can see this thing got all kind of rattied up. I th I'm going to I'm gonna leave it like this and just kind of try and polish it as best I can. I really want to leave it as original as possible if if I can. 
All right, I do have a question for everybody in the uh, in the uh, subscriber list here. If you guys have any good way to get rid of the rust on Chrome, I have used WD-40 before with uh, like a uh, steel wool or something, but uh, I got a lot to do and I don't know if there's a faster way to get it removed. Um, so like most of this stuff comes off really nice, but I'm more concerned about the deep rust that's on these exhaust pipes because I really don't want to spend 10 hours trying to clean exhaust pipes. So if anybody knows a quick solution, please let me know. We're going to go ahead right now and we're going to uh, take the pipes off here, a couple bolts each side of there on it, and then uh, you take off the back bolts here. Get the pipes off. I have to take the pipes off to get the clutch off too. So while they're off, I'm going to go ahead and clean them up. Um, and like I said, if you have any good ideas of how to get some of that rust off in a fast way, I know that there's going to be some pitting and whatnot. And, and mainly it's just to clean them up as nice as I can. So let me know if you have a quick way to do it. Um, otherwise, I, I have a couple ideas up my sleeve. We're going to see how they work. So yeah, let's go ahead and uh, get started. She pop out. So similar to the GT380, I had a bunch of oil come out of these uh, exhausts. Probably why this bike smoked so much when I first got it started and, and still does. It's still probably cleaning out all the oil that's left in the, uh, in the exhaust. So yeah, the exhausts are all off now. Uh, you can see all, kind of hard to see, but all of them are all off. So now what we can go ahead and do is take the clutch off, drop the oil, um, and then as well, we got to work on the dreaded brakes. Not looking forward to that. goes just knew that this is gonna cause a mess so funnel was the best way oh shit there it goes Also why I put a pad down, because the oil tends to leak out. <laughs> All right, now that the oil's drained, next thing we're gonna do is take this cover off, because this is where the clutch basket is. It's sitting back behind here. Take off the Kickstarter, take off here, disconnect the clutch, take a few things off. So should be good from there. All right, so we got the side cover off, all the bolts, clutch out of here, so we're gonna be able to pull that off. So let's go ahead and do that right now. All righty, so we got ahead, got everything tore apart. Clutch is right here, we're gonna remove that and uh, put it on the floor and check out and see why these uh, clutches are sticking. So, yeah. So, the reason our clutch wasn't working is you see how there's this rust and debris on the, uh, on the metal of the clutch and you see how the whole clutch pack wants to come out together? That shouldn't be the case. That's because each one of these is stuck together in here, causing the clutch to actually be stuck, to be, you know, compressed together um, and keeping the bike bike turning so that's uh, that's our problem there and I can see somebody had this clutch off at one point probably to replace the uh, the, the clutches on here anyways but uh, ah, who knows I mean could be a lot of different reasons right so yeah so like I said guys so first off clutch back shouldn't have rust marks on it like that uh, that's what gets stuck together and then the crazy thing is let me see if we can find so I'll put that down there Look at this, the whole chunk, the whole chunk of those are stuck together and that's what causes the uh, the clutch to stick. So 
really, ideally, you gotta get some new clutches on order to get those replaced. That's about all we need to do. Easy fix. Cross the fingers, right? <laughs> that's the update for this week uh, i was able to get a little bit done on the gt i had unfortunately i was on a business trip this last week so not a lot of filming not a lot of working on motorcycles so hopefully in the future we can uh make things uh or continue along making great videos and whatnot so make sure to like subscribe comment also i'm thinking about making a few hats for sale just to uh support the channel and the uh, monetary investment going into these motorcycles so if you think that'd be cool drop a comment uh, i'd like to like to hear from you guys so thanks